Hey y'all, this is John McDuffie with North American Welding and Fabrication again. And I'm back out here in the wild, out in the field where everything's free except labor. And today I'm messing with a ox body rock bed or rock box, uh, depending on whether or not you're American, Kanadistanian or what. But yeah, there's a small crack right in that area that the owner would like for me to fix. So I got my four pound finger masher, my dog and my wedge, and a couple of assorted items to clean things up and some eighth inch 78s and I'm gonna get started on fixing this here crack. I'm just gonna take get everything bent back down to where it's even with each other and start welding it up got the machine a little hot and the bed floor is a little thin so I should be blowing a hole and filling it back in at the same time kind of save a little bit of need for an art gouger on this one but yeah there's that hopefully I'll be able to make it interesting enough for y'all to stick around long enough to finish the video now that I've got some cleaning done, you can see it's a pretty evident crack. And things are not exactly on the same level as they should be. That's the reasoning for the dog and the wedge. But also, this apparently just happened when I was cleaning this truck bed out with a uh, excavator. I'm gonna go on ahead and call BS on that one because that was so packed full of dirt and asphalt to where it's been busted through at least one asphalt load. So yeah, they show me an honest truck driver and I'll show you a career politician. But yeah, there you go. I'm gonna get started on fixing it. Now I can't remember if I have showed y'all this before or not, but you might have been wondering what the dog and the wedge was all about. Well, the dog goes there. That piece of plate is lower in the world than this piece of plate because of this giant vent right here that you can't really see on camera. So what you do is you weld the dog to the lower plate and then you stick the wedge in that gap there and as you weld on that wedge, it's going to create pressure between the bottom of the dog and the top of this plate and bend the top of this plate downward to make them be at least closer to being on the same plane. Should make them all the way on the same plane. Anyways, that's the dog and wedge method and it works very well. Sorry, I couldn't hold the camera and weld on that thing at the same time, but there you go. You got that piece of plate is now down with that other piece of plate. And I can go on ahead and put some weld there and that'll hold that. Also, I forgot to mention whenever you're welding a dog on to do this, you don't weld both sides of the dog. You want it where you can just knock it back loose with a few strikes from a good hammer. And, uh, yeah, that'll work. All right. Now that I've got the initial crack welded up, I'm not going to bother with grinding where I've welded them dogs down, or that dog down, mainly because what this house is dirt and rock and all grinding disc are is dirt and rock with some kind of bonding compound so that's going to self wear as this truck dumps material is going to slide over it and clean it down for me no sense wasting the money on it plus it's kind of shelved out right now so it's going to trap a little bit of material and it's going to make that last a little bit longer it's not going to be long enough to really worry about it but it's going to help now i'm going to add some more beads around this bead and kind of clean it up a little bit and then once that's done 
this will be done. I've got another truck that the tailgate chain uh, bracket is broke loose on one side. Somebody got the truck stuck and a real genius decided that that was the best place to hook the dozer to to drag the truck out. So they just ripped that plum off the bed. So I gotta make one of them. I'll show y'all that and install that if they bring the truck back over here for me to do so. But yeah, you know, once all that's done, then I got some aluminum that I need to go do. Yippee. Well, men folks, women folks, assorted other confused critters that ain't figured out which one you are yet. Uh, I thought that I was gonna be done with all of that, but as soon as I started chipping the slag, I found that little hole and it leads to that little crack that goes, kind of stops right through there, but it goes all the way on down through him. So now I'm gonna weld that up and hopefully it won't crack nowhere else and I can get on back out of here. Well, now that both my knees, both my ankles, both my hips and my back have all decided that they are no longer 32 years old. They are now 932 years old. That's all done. So there's that. I won't see it again until they accidentally break it again. But yeah, that's gone. And on to the next thing. All right. I know I promised y'all another piece of equipment in the video. So, the one that I was expecting them to bring in, uh, I got to wait on parts for it, so I can't start on it yet, but here's this one. That's where the tailgate chains hook on an ox body dump bed. There's what it's supposed to look like. I already made the new piece. I just got to cut this one off and put the new one on. All right. Now that I got that cut off, <clears throat> yeah, I used the torch and the wash tip because it's like 10.30 at night and I didn't want to wake any, any of these nice people up around here. So, yeah, now I just got to get my portable milling machine out and machine this down to a nice, flat, even surface. Make sure it's perfect before I stick this safety chain holder back on. By portable right angle milling machine, that's exactly what I mean. Dewalt 11 amp grinder and a flap disc. Perfect, yeah, close enough. Well, there she is in all her glory. Welded it all the way around. Now I'm gonna show you how it works. They take, let me turn this light on. There. Now you might see. They take the chain, like so, and then they slip a link through the hole. And this thing is incredibly hot. And it's just like that. They hook up both chains, and when they raise the bed, they can pop the tailgate open, and it'll let a controlled amount of whatever material flow between the tailgate and the bed and that's where you get the, the term tailgating gravel so yeah that's done the driver can put some paint on it or not i don't care i'm going home thanks for watching